often fear what we do not understand. Our best defense is knowledge. The question is this morning, where does one draw the line between insanity and just wanting to feel special when it comes to flat earth believers? I think there is no way to measure that. I would probably suggest maybe a psychiatrist could work it all out, but I sure as hell cannot. So on with the show. Gravity is a man-made construct, concept, quite literally. Question number two, of course, is who does one accept as the authority? All of the world's astrophysicists or this guy? The only way they can claim to physically prove gravity is to put items in a man-made vacuum chamber that exists nowhere in your reality on this earth. I can't imagine where the vacuum chamber would exist elsewhere. Dangling participle. One excellent example of gravity is the orbits around the sun. We don't need a vacuum chamber. Vacuum chamber? I don't have to show you no stinking badges. I mean vacuum cleaner? No, vacuum chamber. They claim it exists in the space surrounding their whirling twirling ball Hurling, rotating in a circle or sphere. So, that is incorrect. Twirling, rotating rapidly. This is also incorrect. Earth does not spin rapidly or rotate. Ball, an object with a spherical shape, globe, orb. So, one out of three is not bad, I guess. But due to knowing the properties of water, and it is an impossible physical impossibility for water to support itself in order to display curvature around an imaginary ball this is provable physically with water thus we get down to the nitty-gritty of why flat earth believers have to get rid of gravity with gravity of course water will cling to a surface of a sphere Therefore, gravity is the enemy, and therefore imaginary. So, there is no vacuum of space. And we must accept this because he said so. Feathers do not fall at the same rate as hammers in the real world. Except, of course, when they're in a vacuum. Again, if you change 9.8 meters per second squared to 9.7 meters per second squared, nothing in reality would change. Only the numbers that determine weight would change. Okay, dude. What, comma, the fuck, comma, causes weight? If the gravitational constant were different, Stars would be expanding a little bit more, wider. We would weigh less in a gravity well. What the hell causes weight if one does not have a gravity well? End of story. The entire theory of gravity is based off an imaginary vacuum. The theory of gravity, of course, is not gravity. Gravity and vacuum. Not the same thing. We don't know that there's gravity because we know there is vacuum. Arg. That does not exist and not need exist to be on a flat created earth with an, a firmament enclosing us creating air pressure. Okay, so we live on a disc with a dome over it and the gods took a bicycle pump and inflated the the dome with 15 psi approximately we still need a mechanism for what is up and what is down this is a argument that uh, 
I have seen many times, and there is no answer for that, except that the disc and the dome is accelerating. And by now, we should have gone way past the speed of light, you know, because you have to keep accelerating. Huh. 